Jai Ganesh. So we're going to talk about uh, the dancing Ganesh today. And uh, we have the same Murthy as Kurt sent the picture. And Kurt's going to point the camera, right? To that Murthy. And we're going to do a meditation on this particular Murthy. But I just want to run by you the, the symbols of the Murthy, okay? Before we do the meditation. And uh, the the dancing Ganesh is called Nritya Ganapati. Nritya, N-R-I-T-Y-A, or Natya Ganapati. And this is actually mentioned in the scriptures. Uh, way back, uh, the Ganesha Purana. And this is for really, uh, you know, for dance, but he's called the happy dancer. And to me, it symbolizes the flow state. You know, you're, uh, you're happy for no reason. And within us is this happy dancer. So we're going to do the meditation on this particular Murti. And he's also a liminal deity. Uh, so liminality, as you know, is like half-half. So half elephant head, half uh, human body. And that's the threshold. He's the Lord of thresholds. And uh, so we, we are all at a threshold right now. This is a threshold moment in uh, the planet's history. So it's very appropriate we do this meditation on Ganesh. And next Saturday is Ganesh's birthday. And we are going to be having a big party. So it's called Ganapati Om is a mantra. So it's the party is going to be called Gana Party On. Yeah. So if you have a Ganesh Murti, I would like you to bring out your Ganesh Murti. Have a couple of candles, maybe have a flower, light an incense and make it a ritual. And Janita, uh, my daughter, uh, she will sing a song. She actually sings a beautiful song on the dancing Ganesh. Uh, Nritya Ganapati, Tandava uh, Nritya Ganapati, Gajananam. And then she will do a call and response with the guitar, which is more contemporary. So the song will be classical. And you can all, uh, there'll be a few people here and the patrons are invited to come uh, join us. But we will, uh, we will have the response in person and you can all respond, uh, respond virtually. Okay. So just mute it and uh, this is a way to all engage. So coming to the dancing Ganesh, I just want to run by the symbolisms of this Murti before we do the meditation. Okay. Because I don't want to get distracted in the meditation. So the first thing as you see is the mouse, right? So the mouse is his Vahana, the vehicle, and he calms the mind by riding on the mouse. And that is the essential starting point in this uh, journey of being in the flow state. And there's an archetype of the dancing Ganesh within us, but you start to access it through the root chakra, the muladhara, because that also is a transition between the physical and the, uh, and the spiritual, the material and the spiritual. So Ganesh is the root chakra, the color is like orangish red, sort of like this t-shirt, this is more red, but you know, we'll do some visualization. And he raises the Kundalini, just like in the story, he guards the cave of his mom, Shakti, who was taking a bath. Uh, he guards the Kundalini, the Shakti power within us. That's why he has a snake here. He holds the Kundalini. And on the other hand, he holds a Trishula, which is uh, more uh, Vedantic, the three states of consciousness, waking, dreaming, and deep sleep. And when you hold it, you say, I am that I am. You are not the three states. I am waking, I am dreaming, I am deep sleep. You are none of them, but you are in and through all, the, all of them in the same time. It's imminent and transcendent. So this, this is Vedantic. That's why he holds the Trishula. I'm not the waker, I'm not the deep sleeper, I'm not the dreamer, I am that I am. And on the other hand, how do you live after awakening is the Kundalini is awakened. Okay, it's expanded. And I suspect it's expanded in all of us. 
And then this is another key symbolism where the foot is outstretched in the dance and raised up, which is a spiritual word, the leg down is material. So this is again the threshold, the transition, liminality, the lot of thresholds. And he dances like his dad, Shiva. And uh, this is exact same similar dance as Shiva with a ring of flames. And I like to joke, uh, he sticks his butt out. Here, normally Ganesh has a big belly, but here he has a big butt. Saying, I got a bigger butt than my dad, Shiva. And uh, that's a lot of inner spiral in yoga, if you know what I mean here. Yeah? But then he points to his feet, which is literally surrender. And then with the other hand, he does the abhaya, fearlessness. So let's start with the meditation and we will open your eyes to Ganesh. Okay. And then after that, we'll allow some time for questions. So please close your eyes. And if you have uh, headphones, it will make it easier to hear my voice because I'm not going to project it as high as it was before. So close your eyes and we start with a mantra to have a successful meditation. And the mantra is to Ganesh, the Lord of all beginnings. And the mantra goes, Vakratunda Mahakaya, Surya Koti Samaprabha, Nirvignam Kurmai Deva, Sarvakareshu Sarvada. So we invoke Ganesh, the twisted trunk, the great deity, Mahakaya, the energy of a million suns. And we invoke his blessings so that he removes all obstacles. So we pull him from deep within us, the collective unconscious, the oneness of Carl Jung, into more a subtle body. So this is a subtle body meditation and place your attention on your root chakra the muladhara chakra the tailbone which is the threshold of your body and whatever you're sitting on that's the chakra where lord ganesh resides that's a subtle body He's been invoked. Visualize an orangish red color. The orangish red is a four petaled color of the Muladhara Chakra. And that is the color of Ganesh, sort of orangish red. You see Ganesh Murtis in India in temples with that color. Or people rub this turmeric paste on Ganesha, orange is red. You add water to turmeric, it turns red, the color of Ganesh. So visualize the root chakra, the grounding energy. And to bring Ganesh strongly there, we chant the mantra Om Gam Kadapate Namaha. Om Gam Kadapate Namaha. Om Gam Kadapate Namaha. Om is the oneness. Gam is the Bija Mantra, which is the intellectual layer, the seat of intuition. Ganapataye is a form in the mind. And Namaha is what we silently articulate. So chanting this mantra is like a chain link to the oneness. And this mantra also acts like a windshield wiper of thoughts in your mind. 
it calms you down. Just like the mouse of Ganesh is calmed down, the wandering mind is calmed down. Om Gam Ganapataye Nama. 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 Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. The word Gam resonates in your root chakra. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Visualize a serpent, cobra, three and a half coils in your root chakra. That's a chakra where Ganesh guards the Muladhara Shakti, the Kundalini Shakti. Visualize the head of the snake down, but starting to stir. As we chant the mantra, Om Gam Ganapataye The head is starting to come up, flip around. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. It's coming up through our Swadhishtina, the navel chakra. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. The serpent power coming through our Manipura, the solar plexus chakra. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. The heart chakra, Annahata. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. The throat chakra, Vishuddha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. The third eye chakra, Ajna chakra, the seat of intellect. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. And visualize the serpent all the way to the crown chakra, the Sahasra Nama chakra, the seat of the thousand petal lotus. Om Gam. Ganapataye Namaha. Just stay with this now. I personally feel the Ganesh energy strongly in the heart. The heart is a seat of pure consciousness. It links who we really are, the self, to the body, mind, and the universe. So the heart is a liminal state also, half-half. Gently open your eyes to the Ganesh Murti in front of you. You will see the mouse, your mind, totally calm. The second thing you notice is he does not dance on Apasmara that Shiva dances the being of forgetfulness. This is a happy dance. There is no ego to push down. This is the dance of the flow state. 
the foot on the ground means be grounded in the material world the foot up is the closest to us from the murti it is the foot of upturned grace in being engaged in the spiritual world simultaneously and this is the dance of the flow state where the self is realized the kundalini is awakened and the flow state is characterized by living in the moment the foot on the ground is your old comfortable world the foot up represents a bold step to an unknown future the future is unknown we are going through a tremendous transition all of us and the living in the moment is literally coming from surrender this is what he is doing with his feet with his hand he is gesturing to his feet which literally means surrender you have no idea what's going to happen you just have to let it go be a happy dancer there's a happy dancer within all of us and with the other hand he shows the abhaya mudra which is fearlessness because the fear comes because of the other and the other can be in time it can be the future or it can be the past samskaras and vasanas which pull us down the conditionings you drop everything you drop all the biases conditionings and totally live in the moment when you do that then there is no other you start to live in the present moment om gam ganapatiye namaha jai ganesh